Cutting hair and building an empire. One Southside barber is paving the way to keep young men out of the system and into a better life. CBS 2 Sade Gray has this Black History Month profile. inside the barbershop. Larry is Larry Roberts Jr. Roberts owns two barbershops located inside Walmart in the Chatham and Pullman neighborhoods. And he has seven barber colleges across the state. <laughs> including three schools inside the Illinois Department of Juvenile Justice and the Cook County Jail. They just want another opportunity to do something different, right? But if we don't give them that opportunity and if all we do is talk about them and bad mouth them and and say they'll never be no good, then they're going to continue carjacking, you know, playing the credit cards and, you know, robbing and stealing. Robert started the program in Cook County Jail in 2010 as a way to build a better community. And that's where he met Brown, who 16 years ago was locked behind bars. At the time he was speaking life into us, we just thought he was preaching and didn't pay him no attention. So it actually took me going into the, that same division like four or five times before I, it actually hit me. Larry opened his Barber's College in 2004, and since then, more than 2,000 students have graduated. Nearly 4,000 have attended with a 52% graduation rate. So it's another classroom back here. To make sure students leave Larry's Barber College without student loans from the $17,000 tuition, Roberts created the Data Foundation Incorporated, a nonprofit organization to help provide financial resources to students and correctional facility inmates. They can't touch the floor until they've been uh, in class for at least eight weeks. Roberts says there's a stigma that cutting hair isn't a real job. We can be responsible for somebody's death sitting in our chair, literally inside a barbershop or a beauty shop, right? You know, we have to learn about HIV, AIDS, malaria, hepatitis, electricity and light therapy, um, microbiology, folliculitis. Roberts isn't just trying to teach his students how to cut hair. I'm trying to teach about paying taxes, you know, having 401k, having an exit plan, having something to retire to. Larry Roberts Jr. is someone you should know. You might remember that phrase more than a decade ago when CBS got an inside look of his jailhouse barber college. He says a lot has changed since then. From 2012 to now is I've become more disciplined. I've become a better steward and um, and I understand what what it means more to be able to make sure that I need to create an, an atmosphere and an environment where you help the people that help you. As for Brown, his next goal is to mentor the youth with clippers, like Roberts has done. If you change your way of thinking, your life will change. Sade Gray, CBS 2 News. Roberts says corrections officials in other states, like Florida, have reached out to him to expand his barbershops.